React Native App. React Native is one of the most valuable skills to have in 2024 going up to the next year. React Native allows you to build flexible mobile apps for any end user and your specific needs as an individual. Let's learn React in this video. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna be developing this app and essentially this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna develop a simple email address. We're gonna build a sign-in page using React Native. So let's get started. So this is the basic version of our app, right? So there's nothing here, but we're gonna get started and actually start writing out the code. Does that make sense? So we want to use this. Now I'm gonna import it. So just follow along, okay? This is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the touchable capacity and the text input image and safe area view. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure we have a safe area view. Now what a safe area view does, it allows us to keep the container element of everything in here in this single, you know, wrapper, this single area. Okay, so think of it like that. So now what we can do is, or what I am gonna do, is use this very basic, so we're going to use safe area view. Anyway, we can actually change, oops. We're going to actually change that to safe area view, right? Styles container, but we're going to get rid of this container because we actually don't need it right now. Right, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get an error, but that's fine. Don't worry about it, right? Just get rid of this. And obviously now, see, look, if I put view, you see the views up there. So what safe area view does is that it allows us to keep it within the screen and not off the screen, yeah? So that's basically what it does. The next thing we're going to do is have a container, right? We're going to have a container for our wrapper. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to use. So first we're going to type in style. Okay. And everything in here will be flex. So everything in here is a flex. And uh, also, we can also do a background uh, color of, I don't know, uh, light gray, right? Or uh, something lighter, right? For now, I'll just do, um, okay. I'll just do, is there like, what, what is a nice color? light gray looks like a nice light gray color more of a yeah that's about it all right so this is the color we're going to choose keep it very light <clears throat> okay and then basically um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a header component but we're not going to actually focus on too much of components really but this is, this is what we're going to do. And we're going to get rid of the status bar because we actually don't need that. Um, and we are going to have a view container. So let's actually change this to a view container, but remove this. We don't need this. And so this is going to be a view. And then also we can do style and then it's equal to styles or styles like, oops, styles like container. And then obviously we're going to have some styles there, but don't worry about them. And um, one of the styles we're going to have is, is this. So style sheet create, we're going to create it. And within here, this is where we define everything. Yeah. So we're going to have a container and everything in this container is going to have a padding of, let's say, 10, right? Um, Let's do flex 
shrink one. Let's do flex basis uh, zero. Let's do flex grow as one. And then what we're going to do is we are going to have a container for everything. So that, that is the container, right? So that, that main thing is the container. The next thing that we're going to do is have a header component, right? So we're going to have a header component. Um, we're going to type in view style. So your styles the header like that, and then within the header, we're going to have another thing. Um, I'm just going to drag it in here because it makes it easier. I can't do this video too long because I'm actually doing this at night, but. Here we go. So we're gonna have it like this, All right? So within the header, and what we can do is, within the header, we are going to have the margin. So look, margin. So something like that, right? And then within that, the title. So basically, there's a header title, but then we have to keep it simple. So one of the things that we can do is have the subtitle which is um, get access to free content we have that in the middle okay and then the title or the sign in right so this is actually just I'm basing this off uh, an existing project this is actually just another project which I've seen and I've just basically explaining it and so now what we can do is when you have the subtitle component i mean the subtitle st styling so the font is 15. Uh, i should probably zoom in a little bit so the font is 15. you got the font weight which is 500 and that is it really yeah so that's all what you have to add with the subtitle but now you're probably now you're probably thinking what about the what about the sign in yeah well, I mean the title. So what about the title? What we can do for the title is this. So the font size is 27. We add a font weight, uh, let's do 500. And the color is just obviously dark. Margin bottom, we can do seven. And to give it spacing. Um, and what else can we do? No, no, so that keeps it clean. Well, I guess we don't need to do it. We can do four. Yeah, or maybe two. Let's do four, okay. And then what we want to do is, so when that has something like that, right? Um, another thing we want to have within our form, so basically this is the container, remember that. But now we're going to focus on the main, like, form, yeah? So here we go. Here's the form. Um, sorry, view. So this is actually a view container, but within the view container, there will be a form and our form styling is just going to be like that. Yeah. And within our form, we will have a input. So there's going to be a text input. So we're going to have, so remember, this is a container. So within our form, there's going to be an input. So there's another view component to it. And we're going to call this styles.input. So this is the main input. Um, and the reason is it's because we have to add the text, which has an email address to it, right? Or well, we can do that. So email address. So this is the text, this is the title. So what we can do is we can call this, um, oops, um, styles dot basically input label. Right, input label, that should be fine. And yeah, that'll, that'll do, for now at least. And then we're going to have another component called the text input. 
which is from the React Native. <clears throat> so this is where it gets interesting. Um, we want to have autocorrect so it's false and basically it's not actually autocorrecting anything right but the style itself will be styles um, and it would just be input I don't know what to call it input validation so basically input validation um, but it's going to be empty right but there's there's not going to be anything in it, right? So that's that's just one thing that you got to understand is that um, there's nothing within that te text input. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're gonna have another one um, for the input label with itself, right? So if I go down here and add the styles and the input validation I should say so input uh, validation font size um, 16 and the rest I'll just add um, here like that okay and Another thing we want to do is add the so we've got the email address, we've got the text input, and <clears throat> man, it's actually difficult to actually. So within our input, we've got an email address. And we have a styling of um, input validation. Okay. And one of the things which we want to do is have a placeholder. Because then there's actually no point in having it at all. So we can just add here placeholder. Just like that. Now we can see we've got a little input thing there, right? And we want to have, so, so remember, this itself, the style, has the input, um, actually the text input itself. So remember, it's input validation. But there's actually one, probably one thing we may need. Right, so, well, actually, for the input, um, actually, we don't, sorry, we, not validation, I would say just input field, essentially, this is what kind of, what we should call it. We can do input field, or input field style, um, so input field, but get rid of that, let's do this. Because this is what gives us the design, you see. And that's where the label comes from, yeah. And then, essentially, what we want to do now is also do the same exact thing, but for the password. Does that make sense? So everything else is the same. Well, actually quite literally the same. There's nothing much to it. So we're gonna just copy this and then this is basically just the password and then the placeholder. We can just do that, yeah. And then um what we what we want to do is is have the we probably want to set some state but I won't do that now right I'll get on to the button which is the next part of it and so I'm actually just going to copy this in because I actually don't have much time but 
essentially so this is like I said this is within the form and within the form here we can have a button which says sign in and <clears throat> we want to add its styling right so within itself we can add a thing called form action and so I'll add that quickly and so that's just going to give us some spacing on top but most importantly we want to actually design the the input I mean the the button itself the touchable capacity the opacity sorry but there's nothing nothing is actually going to happen when we handle the on press event so when we click on the button nothing happens right um, nothing happens at all but it's the button component within itself with the button text that we have that so this is it here so we're adding a flex row so everything is in a row and we are aligning the items to center and justifying the content center which aligns the button element within the middle we're adding a border radius of eight right if i do zero you can see that it goes like a square if i do 100 it's curved but i'll keep it as an eight padding vertical is 10 horizontal is 20 and the border width is one and the background color is blue as we can see the border color is the same similar yeah it's the same the button takes within itself has the sizing you see so oh, I mean you could just keep it on 17 line height is 16 and that's it right and that right is it this whole form within it itself is very much it and so just to go through it so we've got a safe area view which aligns the content within the screen so that nothing else goes above or outside of the phone right outside of the size of uh, the size of the original width of the screen we have a container now if i zoom out a little bit you can see it wraps the container and then we've got a header within this header it's this it's the sign in and get access to the free content uh, this is just a placeholder text right then you've got this form container which contains so this is the form and then this is everything inside the form so with this we've got an input so that's input one which is the email address we added a label text the same here password we added a text label but it's the text input which is this the input field right that allows us to have this placeholder and so obviously you would just do hello at gmail.com or your email address right um exam oh sorry example at gmail.com text input placeholder you just add that so that the password is default and no one actually sees that but you can actually change that so no one can actually see that um but we won't add that <clears throat> for now the on press there's no functionality here for the on press so we don't actually need it so nothing happens when you press on the button and that is it literally but if you want to add the other bit right which is another touchable capacity thing i mean opacity it's the footer right i don't think that is really necessary but if you really want to add the footer you can so within the footer so this is a container that's within itself but then we've got the footer and the footer's down here you can see that so the footer container is within that right and we have to use the form footer right so if i come down here and i add the styles so the styles are the font font weight color text align center and letter spacing so the letter spacing it gives spacing between the letters font size is 17 and gives you the font weight and the, the bold font style with the color of this and it's aligning the text within the center that is it so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and 
Um, I hope you learned something. I won't. I wasn't going to add state because it's just the UI. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very quick. I didn't want to make it too long, so that's why I kind of did this project and then copied what I've done already. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one.